Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, it's a short demonstration of the iCarsoft Vol version 3.0 tool. We're in a little Volvo C30 here with a whole host of warning messages and uh, warning lights. So we're gonna hopefully get to the bottom of these with this tool. Now I will pop the link to this kit in the description below this video. There are fakes, there are clones on the market and they can damage your vehicle unfortunately. So it's not worth going down that route. Uh, but if you use the link in the description, it will take you to the genuine and official product, okay? So if you can see, if I click on this uh, message center button here if we look at the message center right there it's I'm gonna scroll through it it's giving us a few warning messages uh, the main ones being the airbag the anti-skid ABS and the engine system service required okay so we've got this tool plugged into the dashboard uh, sorry the uh, the OBD2 port and we're gonna select diagnostics and we're gonna go through and select our vehicle so it's a 2008 Volvo C30 and then once we've selected our vehicle, it's going to give us a list of um, systems which we can potentially diagnose. So we've got a control unit, there we go. So I've done that really quickly there, but obviously the, it sometimes might take a little bit of learning or understanding how to use it. But ultimately, you can either ask the tool to do a full scan of your vehicle or you can select each system individually so that's what we're going to do we're going to do individual system selection okay so first of all since we've got the engine message right there we're going to select the engine system okay and it's going to give us a fault code so it's giving us 0113 mass airflow sensor and that's one of three so there are three faults uh, they're all relating to the mass airflow sensor okay um, Basically, we need to replace the mass airflow sensor and until we do that this warning message will stay on the vehicle message sender So we can't reset that until we've actually done the, the replacement physically replaced the math sensor Okay, so that's one job that we know we need to do um, We can't get rid of this just yet, but we have done some other jobs Relating to the other warning lights which will allow us to erase the warning lights So for example if we look at the ABS system and we're going to go to read fault code. We've got, you can see we've got the ABS light. Now it's flashing there. This one is the traction warning light as well. Um, it's telling us 0020 wheel sensor front right faulty signal. That's because the, we've, we've traced a faulty ABS sensor. Uh, we were doing a live data test and it wasn't giving us any values. So that corresponds or correlates with what we see on screen here. So we were confident that there was a faulty ABS sensor which has been replaced. And we can click on clear fault memory now just to get rid of the warning lights. So if we go F1, erase operation done. And then we'll see the warning light is still flashing, so that's flashing there. What will generally happen is that will come on steady. There'll be another one comes on steady right there, and then they'll all go off. There we go. So that is the ABS system dealt with, and it's quite an easy system to deal with. It might be sound a little bit daunting, um, the fact that a lot of warning lights come on the dashboard. But once you've you figure it out, and you'll figure it's only just one fault. It's generally a sensor, okay? Um, so that's what it was in this case, and exactly the same with the uh, the airbag system, which we'll go and show you now. Um, we've we found a loose connection underneath the driver's seat for the airbag system, so we were getting this fault here. We've unclipped it, clip, clipped everything back together and uh, we can just go ahead and re erase this now so if we go okay and that can sometimes take 10 to 15 seconds for this warning light to erase so it's that one there so just keep an eye on that airbag light there we go it's gone off it's come back on but it should go back off fairly soon oh, it should there we go, it's gone off now. Um, so yeah, so this is the Vol version three and you'll, you'll notice that it does cover like all sort of systems within the vehicle. Um, depending on the vehicle that you're in, you might see like a much bigger, longer list of systems. But it covers like up to up to modern vehicles as well, so uh, it really is a good package for Volvo and Saab owners and enthusiasts alike. Uh, we also just just give you a quick look at the service menu as well. Uh, it does things like DPF regeneration, injector coating, suspension calibrations, uh, lots of service functions that you could do with this tool as well but it doesn't do all of these service functions on all vehicles you'd need to double check okay uh, best thing to do is send the VIN number to Diagnostic World uh, email address will be on there and you can you, on the website you can check to make sure that the tool 
does do a certain service function on your specific vehicle okay um, but it's ultimately it's allowed us in this case to diagnose all of the faults uh, and reset the ones that we have fixed we can't reset the one that we haven't fixed just yet it would only just come back or it might give us like an error on screen here so it's, it's kind of pointless going through that motion but I will put the link to this kit in the description below this video uh, it really is a good package. There are fakes, there are clones out there, so if you wanted to make sure you get the genuine and official product, then please do use the link in the description below this video. Thanks very much for watching, guys, and I hope this helps.